What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in, watching, or listening, doing it, however you're doing it, where you're doing it. Kevin, quick question. What up? Does it feel like it's been a while since we recorded? It does. I was just thinking that, but I was out for like two weeks. Uh, we pre-recorded an episode, That's right. so like we're finally getting That's back right. on schedule. I forgot. Yeah. Way to care about me being here. Um, yeah, we were. I was. Gone Kevin, you're back. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry, I forget things. I just got back last week, so that's true. Like a week ago, as of this came out. Yeah, coming that's out. Right. Oh god, that's right. I talk okay. good. Anyway, guys, schedule for today. Wait, uh, what? What? Nothing. Keep going. Keep talking. You're doing great. Schedule for today. We of course are going to kick off with our random card of the day. We have our mock draft of core 2019 Ooh. so we're actually going to go through a draft scenario and uh determine basically give you some tips and stuff as we draft mm-hmm. but then also mm-hmm. figure out what our picks would be we just thought it was kind of a fun episode idea so yeah we thought we'd give be it a interesting. shot two heads drafting is curious especially when kevin and i have such different styles <laughs> yeah <laughs> we've drafted before together uh yeah that's true we of course have our question of the we week pretty which well we have too. to think of uh because we didn't pre-plan that and then our oh, shoot um, me uh crackerbacks sponsored by grand slam and as always as i forgot to mention right away these episodes are sponsored by cardsphere.com the best place on the internet by the way kevin of the future put the banner here when you say it not before when you're supposed to all right you may resume uh yeah that the was best for you place. in post <laughs> The best place to buy, sell, and trade magic cards online. Absolutely love those guys. Uh, super fantastic. Heck yeah. Um, stall while I pull up Scryfall. So, guys, magic. <laughs> what is magic? All right, that's enough. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> Next. Nope. <laughs> Uh, avatar token. It's a token. We can't talk about a token. All right, here we go. Spine biter is a That's three a dope four. Name. Yeah, it is. Uh, three four for four and two green. Uh, with infect, and it can assign its combat damage as though it were not blocked. So, curious. This is not trample. Interesting. This right? is different. Yeah. Assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. So instead of dealing the damage to a creature, if it was blocked, you actually get the choice of, do I want to deal the damage to the creature or to the player? Now it's not both. Clear. Just throwing that out there because I feel like somebody would get that wrong. Yeah, you don't get to assign it to different targets. Right. It's just just one or the other, uh, which I kind of like. I dig this a lot. I like this card. I I mean, Um, it's expensive for a 3-4, but it does have infect and it can it's pseudo-unblockable. In draft, mm-hmm. I feel like it is a monster. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I mean, I'd pick this. Yeah. I don't know. Mm, I might pick this first, honestly. Like, that's Depending good Depending on the pack, yeah, it's good enough. A 3-4 with Infect that can just pound through in green, no less, yeah. is solid. The only thing that bothers me about this card is the mana cost. It just feels bad for six that you're only getting a 3-4. I get, I get that the, there's upside with it, but like just in right. general, that feels so bad. I mean, it's a clock, though. It is a clock. It's four, it's four attacks to yeah. lethal. No, absolutely. It does not die to bolt. <laughs> true. <laughs> I mean, just saying, there's yeah, no yeah. there's no burn that's going to kill this that's not that's true. absurd burn. Now, I mean, target spells, obviously, but... Right. Like, I don't I don't think... I'm trying to remember the black removal in Phyrexia. It wasn't Doomblade. It was... um. There was a good bit, though. There was like... Was it infest or something like that? That doesn't mm-hmm. get it done though. Glistening oils minus how much? Oh gosh, I have no I clue. I remember. I think that might be what I I'm thinking. I didn't draft during that time. So. That might be what I'm thinking. It does like minus something minus something to a creature. Sure. I don't remember. Um, but, but I mean, it's y- going to survive a lot. You have to exhaust two spells probably to kill this unless it's target removal. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, I don't feel bad about attacking with this because it's got infect, so I get to right. choose like which which better which outcome is better Mm -hmm. poison counters on you or zapping your creature for three i really dig this card i mean granted draft is like Mm -hmm. the only place i could see it played i guess yeah oh yeah maybe commander only because if you stack uh plus one plus one counters on this and swing in in a turn you could theoretically just kill somebody very quickly but i feel like there's better ways to do it in commander so there definitely are probably not a good way to do it but like Draft, I don't know. it's a I feel like it would be an all star in draft. Yeah, I think so for too. Sure. Now, how good is this card without infect? 
Mm, very bad. Very bad. I mean, the thing is, like you pointed out, it's on its own a four-turn clock mm-hmm. if left undealt with or not dealt with, whatever. But right. um, if it was, if it didn't have infect, it would be significantly more. I mean, it just would be way too slow. Yeah, it just doesn't do enough. Um, but with infect, it's great. I think it's cool that you can choose whether to uh, kill a creature or. Uh, yeah, I feel like to I the like that effect. A yeah, lot. yeah. And plus, infect is rampant in this set in particular. Mm-hmm. So like. Most likely, you'll have other infect creatures to be able to punch through a few of these. So, really, mm-hmm. you know, turn four clock on its own, it might even be a turn as low as a turn two clock in some situations. I can, I can see that. Um, very, very sweet. I yeah. did this. Yeah, I, I like, like it a lot. lot. Heck yeah. That was a weird. God, what the? We do weird stuff. Uh, guys, we are gonna draft some core nineteen. Uh, yeah, we are. Um, this Kev. is. The, like obviously random we're just opening packs so we have no idea what's going to happen but we're going to yep. try and give some tips and tricks as we go along you things to look for all that kind of a thing uh we're using draft.bestiaire.org to do this in case anybody's wondering you can practice draft on here it's yeah, great i was wondering um all right let's get into it so all right mm, not okay <laughs> First pack. <laughs> so the first thing we all, Starting I mean, strong. I always look for is the rare first because right. that's obviously the highest yeah. upside. Uh, in this case, we got Magistrate Scepter, which is not good. Nope. Uh, it is way too slow for draft. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. just does not work. Um, there is an Electrify, which is great. I was going to say, what is our bomb in this pack? Uh, Vampire Sovereign. Enters the battlefield, target opponent loses three life, and you gain three. It is a three, four, for five with flying. That seems like pretty good to me. Uh, for me, it's kind of between that and Electrify. We do also have a Gearsmith Guardian, which is great in the blue white artifact deck. I'd rather have Electrify, personally. Than the Sovereign? I think. This is, it's starting already. Uh, <laughs> I, here's the thing is, yeah. I don't like. Sell it. <laughs> I don't. I don't like the sovereign as my as a bomb. It's good, but I'm worried about. There are other flyers in the set that are. I'm thinking the the blue black one, for instance. That's. Oh yeah. That's like I think way better than that. It definitely is, but I feel like this is good enough in a core set in particular mm-hmm. that like it's worth taking. I mean, okay, and actually, the more more that I think about it, it's a bomb, and it's and it's got evasion. Yeah. Which makes it kind of aggressive. It's and also it's not dual colored. It's a so six can... point swing. But in a dual colored deck, it's got two black mana. But at turn five, you should probably get it. Take the Vampire Sovereign. I think it's Sovereign. Kev. I will say I'm sad I to pass the good. Electrify. I uh, think it's good. Are we trying to wheel anything out of this pack? Maybe Abnormal Endurance. That's the only realistic thing. Yeah, with black, I mean. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. So the rare is taken out of the second pack. No surprise. Uh, I would put all of this up on the screen, but that would just not go well so uh pretty easy lich's caress in my mind the only two black cards are epicure of blood and lich's caress yeah uh it's just a kill spell and you gain three life there's a lot of life gain synergy in the Mm -hmm. black white deck uh yeah and so that just seems like a great card Mm -hmm. there's not a real reason to go into any other color no in my mind i'm with it removal now is nice lich's caress um okay so Again, nothing really in the uncommon slot that looks all that exciting to me. No. Uh, the two cards I'm looking at are Starcrown Stag and Sky March Bloodletter, both of which I like a lot. Uh, the Bloodletter is great; it's synergistic, uh, but the Starcrown Stag is probably a little bit higher on power level. I would say, just being able to tap down creatures seems pretty good. Yeah, it's got its own kind of evasiveness, right? Um, I like, I will say I drafted, I draft similar effects when I can find them. Yes. Usually I'm in blue white, but being in blue back, blue black, I can speak. Yeah. I'm not uncomfortable drafting a tap effect. I like, I like like the stack here. Generally speaking, Mm -hmm. uh, tap effects are like really overpowered Mm -hmm. in draft, I would say. Yeah. Uh, it just sort of, it's like pseudo removal for whatever biggest creature they have. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this just punches through a lot. Now we do... We do need to consider Curb at this point. Yep, absolutely. I think it's kind of good. We got Child of Night here. Um, I also like Take Vengeance, surprisingly. Destroy target attack creature. Ooh, I kind of like that more than Child um, of Night. Child of Night, so I will say this. Having drafted this a decent amount in terms of just like playing through a little bit, Child of Night, not that exciting. I'm a little unimpressed well, no, with it in I, this set. It's not a good... More than normal. It's not a I'm good saying. card necessarily, <laughs> but it's good for Curb's sake. Sure, absolutely. Um, but I... 
do like Take Vengeance. If we were in blue, I'd say Anticipate, but absolutely, we're in two colors already. I don't like drafting three. I don't no, know. and I don't think Omen um, um, Speaker is like a reason to go blue. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm with you. Or Anticipate, excuse me. I, I don't think either. I think I don't think either right. of them. I like Take Vengeance, though. I like Take Vengeance. That sort of gives us a good start on removal, so we're kind of yeah. in a good place there. Okay, so... So in color, we have Mighty Leap, uh, Knight of the Tusk, and Mind Rot. All of which are, like, not good. Mind Rot's, Mind Rot's okay. the best, 100%. Yeah. Um, Mind Rot's fine I here, think I I'm think. okay with playing that. There's not a reason to take anything else, really. Right. We already... The Druid is good, but... Yeah. The uh, Knight of the Tusk isn't the bomb you want. No. This is three, not the bomb you're for looking six. for. That's terrible. It's got vigilance. It has vigilance. Good for it. Um, Yay. <laughs> Uh, oops. Okay, so again, in color, there's no black cards. We have Rustwing Falcon, Knight's Pledge, uh, Trusty Pack Beast, which is not at all for this deck, and then Daybreak, Daybreak, uh, Chaplain. I mean, you know what the pick is. Chaplain. You're wrong. Oh, Rustwing Falcon. Yes. <laughs> a one-two flyer, Kev. I mean, for one, it's fine. I'm not a fan of it's it. It's on curve, Kevin. I know, I know. We need curve, Kevin. Uh, all right. So we have Mighty Leap or Infectious Horror in color. There's, again, no reason to go out of color. We have a Snapping Drake in blue, which is decent, but like it's really just kind of filler. Um, God, I don't like this. Both though. of these cards are pretty bad. I would take Mighty Leap. Combat trick. It's a decent combat trick. Is it better than a guaranteed two swing two two body for free. i think so uh i've seen the infectious horror mm -hmm. very i see it as very underpowered uh in comparison to a lot of other cards in this especially at four even though it's just a be doing slower so more. slower format yes honestly you yes think? because it just gets outpowered so quickly of course it's outpowered but i'm not i mean you hit for two mm -hmm. immediately but then it's just kind of a useless two two a lot of the time I don't know. Um, I, I don't like either of these cards. I don't like them either. So I just don't know which one's better. I'm going to uh, take the Mighty Leap. All right. I'm doing it. <laughs> um, all right. We have Mind Rod again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's really about it. There's nothing else worth splashing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Doubling up on those Mind Rods. All right. So we are back in our beginning pack. Uh, Abnormal Endurance, I've see I like as a combat trick. Um, I generally don't like combat tricks, but I do like that one. It's pretty solid. Uh, Knight's Pledge, we have talked about this before. Enchanted creatures tend to be like my least favorite thing to draft mm -hmm. uh, because it just opens yourself up for a very easy two for one. Yeah. Um, and the only other white card is a Johnny's Welcome, which is, I mean, I don't like it. No. I don't think it's good at all. Um, I mean, not in limited for sure no not no limited. i think uh, endurance, endurance is fine yeah uh at this point we're just going to be like hey drafting a lot, stuff, of right? a lot of axe yeah uh the night yeah yeah night of the tusk and then anticipate and <laughs> just another mighty <laughs> leap another, another lava, lava axe, axe. Okay. we can splash two lava axes <laughs> true that's actually kind of nice i mean <laughs> to be honest. good finisher uh, uh lava axe is pretty good in this set so yeah. First pack down, uh, we do have one sort of high-end creature that's worth playing mm -hmm. in the Vampire Sovereign. We've got two pieces of removal, uh, which is pretty good. The Lich's Caress and the Take Vengeance. Mm -hmm. We also have the Stag to slow the opponent down. Right. Um, I'm feeling okay. Not great, but okay. I I don't like it, but it's fine. We'll it's keep, a start. We'll keep on. Oh, okay. God. No, actually, all right. I'm going to vouch for this card real quick. Chaos Wand is weirdly, <sighs> it's hit or miss, but sometimes it's very good. It's hilarious. I that being said, Meteor Golem is in here, and that card's real good. Uh, I mean, yeah. As well as Skywatch Bloodletter, which is just good. But I think Meteor Golem's definitely the pick. Uh, there's also Child of Night, Macabre Waltz, Epicure of Blood, uh, Explosive Apparatus. Nothing all that exciting. What do you think? Um, yeah, I think the Golem. I think the Bloodletter probably wheels. I hope so, for sure. Uh, but it is actually a really good three drop. So yeah, yeah we'll go Meteor Gold. That's definitely the best, I think. Uh, mm, so we have Rise from the Grave. 
not a fan. Uh, there's Skeleton Archer, which is actually okay. Uh, yeah. And then there's Sky Scanner, which is just solid most of the time because it's replacing itself. It's a little bit of a flyer, but it's I would say the basically. Archer, probably. What do you think? I don't love our curve at all. Our curve sucks so far. <laughs> what do you think? I think the Archer makes more sense for limited. I think it's better. Okay. Because Sky Scanner doesn't affect board state. Right. So. Man, this card is like Doom. stupid good. Uh, Doom Dissenter yeah. is definitely the pick here. Uh, we do have another Chaplain, and we have a Bog Stomper. Uh, but no, definitely Doom Dissenter. Yeah, it's two for one. Uh, the Vampire Neonate is like kind of nice actually. It's got a lot of synergy uh, yeah. with the gain life, and the only other real option is Walking Corpse. So yeah, we'll go Vampire Neonate. It's on curve too. All right. Uh, Joel Master or Doom Dissenter? Um, I kind of like the Doom Dissenter better. I do too. Okay. Cool. Well, Omniscience. Uh, no, um, <laughs> well, I mean, we have Child of Night, Doom Dissenter, or Cavalry Drill Master. We could also sideboard Invoke the Divine. <laughs> um, I don't, uh, I kind of feel like maybe the Cavalry Drill Master. Only so we can poke through some damage because we've got a lot of like a more effects based. Strike, you know what I mean. Um. With to me with black white, you're playing more of the long game. Mm hmm. Um, especially how heavy into black we are, like we get value, right? We do. We have yeah, recursion. Yeah, yeah. Um, we already have two doom descenders, two for ones. Mm -hmm. A third is just cake. Okay. Like we're just trying to get to the flyers. I buy it. You know, that's just kind of my. I buy it. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, so we have a Stitcher Supplier. Uh, do not like that card in this deck. We also have Child of Night and Walking Corpse is really the only other options. Um, w I just want to point out we have not seen any reason to be in any other color this entire time. No, I haven't either. There's been like I feel like we're pigeonholing, but like there's just nothing else. So. <laughs> Um, Probably just Child of Night, right? I don't think this is good. No, because we don't have any kind of uh, reanimate no. effects. I mean, we did pass one, but like it's not. Oh, did you pick Child of Night? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Well, I mean, I was gonna say Walking Corpse just because. Oh, oh. Because two two is more relevant than two one. That's fair. Even if it's got life link. That's fair. It does die but. to the other black card that we pulled, the skeleton. Um, mm -hmm. So, Rustwing Falcon, Revitalize, or Aegis of the Heavens. I really don't like Aegis of the Heavens at all. You know the pick. <sighs> Thank you. Pick the Falcon. <laughs> Macabre Waltz, I'm actually okay with. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a decent card, so I'll take that. No Lava Axe number three. <laughs> Let's go, Lava Axe. <laughs> uh, Vog Stomper as a finisher. I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah. Because we don't have any real high end. No, yes. Uh, a so six five for six, I'm fine with. That's fine. I, there's no complaints. Walking corpse. Uh, lava axe number, number four. Number four. <laughs> Can we? How many could we play? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. That's worth splashing red for if we have four. Honestly, <laughs> if we get some dual lands, we'll we'll throw it in there. Uh, um, you mean we'll, we'll just play them? <laughs> I'm feeling better about what we have now. Yeah, our uh, curve is we picked up a lot so more much too. nicer. Yeah, uh, and we have a meteor golem as well as the bog stomper for like late game stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm cool with that. We're in a good place. meteor golem trades with a with another bomb, so I love it. Uh, Doom to center number four. Uh, each play this Frang Omnipotence. Um, nope. I don't think I like that. Okay, you know the pick. I'm looking right at it. This Fell Specter. Yeah, yeah, Fell Specter is sweet. Uh, That's it's a nice. flyer. Oh, it's discards nice. an opponent's card. Yeah, that just seems like the best one. Uh, there is a skeleton archer worth n worth noting. Doom to center stuff like that. But yeah, definitely that will be a good pack for us. I think a lot will wield. Yeah, but definitely. Oh, here we go. Strangling spores is third piece of mm -hmm. removal. Uh, there's not much else in this pack, so I definitely think that's the yeah. Um, we have a two-headed zombie. We have a walking corpse, and we have a skeleton archer. Um, I like the zombie more because it's got menace so on four. It encourages the aggression a right. little bit more. Right, uh, that's a must-answer card to me for sure. Like four power each, because you're not going to block with a four two. It dies to so much. That's yeah. going to be a, an aggressive card. I like that. I think. I think that's good, and we do already have one skeleton yeah. archer. I mean, the so. archer, the archer is nice. It's a good card. But we've already seen sure. one. I expect to see one back if we want it. Definitely. 
Um, okay. So here we have a hired blade, a walking corpse, a invoke the divine, and another abnormal endurance. So keeping, to me, keeping in line with the we want value, we're playing the long game, abnormal endurance seems right to me just because mm-hmm. we want to keep value on our board and if we can trade off with some of theirs, okay, we outvalue them that way. That's my thinking. I would use, I would think that more of a, think of abnormal endurance more as a removal spell for us. Sure. And that we want to I think it. you're right. I definitely agree with that. That's um, like its optimal spot for me. And then if it can just save a creature, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I you definitely I mean? agree. I think it has a lot of synergy with mm-hmm. things like the um, doom dissenters that mm-hmm. we have. Because if for we sure. can recur them, then we just get so much. It recurs them. them. It recurs our 3-4 vampire flyer. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot to go mm-hmm. with for that. So yeah, I agree. Cool with that. Definitely. Um, I kind of like the second neonate. Um, yeah. I think so. I like this over the the hawk. Mm-hmm. Sorry, <laughs> but no, it's way better than okay, the hawk. I just want you to. The hawk has no effect. On the <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine with that. Um, nothing really that good. Uh, blood divination is the only on color card. There's also a submerged boneyard, which if we were earlier in the draft, I would say we should take. But I don't think we have any reason to splash blue. I would hate draft out of this pack just because I don't. Card I mean, draw to me isn't worth enough. Yeah. That's fair. But is it worth more than hate drafting? I should probably ask myself, and I think yes. The answer is probably yes. <sighs> probably. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the divination. Um, I actually yeah. like the Swish Qual the best out of this one. So we have a Stitcher Supplier yeah. and a Trusty Pack Beast, neither of which are great in our deck. Right. We don't have any. Yeah. You're right. Just an aggressive two drop. Seems okay. We are high on the two drops now, for sure. Another mm-hmm. Macabre Waltz, really the only pick. I feel like we should try this. <laughs> uh, abnormal endurance or fraying omnipotence came that back. That is not a limited car. No, I mean we'll take a endurance. There is another mind rot actually. Mm. Just for curve consideration, should we take that? Curve and again value. Okay, yeah, we'll take mind rot. Uh, oh, that was our pack. The wield. I yeah, think. it is. Hmm. There's an inspired charge, which this really isn't the deck for, but with all of the Doom Descenders that we have. I was going to say, I think you hold on to that until parity, because that helps you out if the board's stalled. I think we take this and we'll see where it fits, yeah. if it fits. I think, I mean... It's better than the alternative, which yes. is Infernal Scarring. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, yes. definitely inspired charge. Well, third Falcon. <laughs> uh, invoke the Divine as sideboard. I'm happy with that. Uh, Sovereign's Bite is not super playable. Uh, and finishing up with the Supplier. Okay, so. Cool. How do we feel before we build the deck? <laughs> not great. Um, right? We have a lot of, like, I mean, we're pretty aggressive, I'll say. We are pretty aggressive. Uh, so let's go through white first. The definites are mm, <laughs> not much. Um <laughs> I would say let's put Swift Call in yep. for now. I think add two Falcons just to have them because we don't have many other ones. I hate the Falcon, to be honest. Um, it's such an aggressive card. I mean, yeah. It doesn't do much for you later. Two is the two. is the Vampire Neonate two life or one life? Uh, three? No, oh, Neonate? Neonate. Sorry, uh, one. <sighs> yeah, yeah. See, I'd almost rather have a one drop that is a blocker and an mm. one. I don't know. I don't know. So uh, DNA doesn't do anything to the board. No, but it blocks, and then in response you can gain, like, drain for one. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I like that more as a one drop than yeah. the Falcon. Um, I yeah. would say we have synergy, but we just don't with the life gain, unfortunately. No. Um, so these are kind of definites. Our three is low. We have literally Mind Rot. Uh, They've invoked the Divine. We have invoked the divine. Mm-hmm. Where am I? Oh, you want to main board that? Oh no, sorry. I was about to say. <laughs> What's destroy tap creature? Which one is that? Uh, take, take vengeance. vengeance. Ah, that's right. That, it's yeah, two. it's two. Okay. Um, I it was three. So as it sits now, we're sitting at twenty cards in our deck. These are like close to definites, I will say. Uh, two rustwing falcon, which I'm not hundred percent sold on, if I'm honest. Two vampire neonate. That seems a little high in the one drop. Um. We do have, in two, we have uh, the Swift Claw, Take Vengeance, Abnormal Endurance, and three Doom Dissenters. Uh, we could throw in another Endurance, which I would feel pretty okay with. Yeah, throw in Endurance, take out another Falcon. Uh, okay, 
Let's do that and that. Uh, we have one yeah. mind rod at three. Uh, we do have two others that we could put in. I don't want to put three in. I'd be okay with running two. I like as many as we can get. Really? You think it's that good? Reanimator is uh, I said for two reasons. Reanimator is is a roughly an archetype is a sub theme sure but it is not that strong and we've drafted most of the black i doubt anyone else in this draft would have it okay mind rot again playing on that value thing that yeah. value theory it it has some value especially in this set we've two for one then yeah which yeah, is yeah. great um the only reason i'm like cautious of running three is that like late game if they're playing with low numbers mm -hmm. of cards in their hand yeah, you can get mm -hmm. them down to no cards in hand, but then it's you're not getting it's one for one. Yeah, I think two is probably the perfect number. I think so too, but we are very low in three, so we. Well, that's the other thing is we don't have a ton of three drops, so having something to do on three is nice. But if that means playing another two drop on right, three, right? Um, like I think our two drops are solid. Our two drops are great, except for endurance. Like that's more I, circumstantial. Yeah, I feel like that is better as a one of. Yeah, uh, but. I mean, it is what we have at the moment. We do have a two-headed zombie, a strangling spore, skeleton archer, fell specter, and star-crowned stag mm -hmm. at four. Our four drop is looking I really, pretty yeah, good. I like our fours. Uh, our fives are actually not bad either. Vampire yeah. Sovereign and Lich's Caress. Uh, and then six and over, we've got Bog Stomper and Meteor Golem. Meteor Golem being mm -hmm. awesome for sure. And that Bog Stomper's a fine beater. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Um, what do we put in for this last card? We could put Macabre Waltz. Uh, return, oops, uh, two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand and then discard a card. It's not amazing. Uh, we also could theoretically, I don't want to do another. Uh, we, uh, inspired Charge, maybe. I'm fine with that just because of how little our dudes are. Yeah. We have a lot of cheap guys. We do. And our creature counts up to 14 right now. So we, we've got some decent stuff. Okay. I'll, I'll take that inspired charge so that do you feel inspired kev uh how how would we rate this deck out of what uh let's do a five point scale five being like amazing one being absolute garbage all right <laughs> say what you're thinking on three ready one two three, three. two we're pretty close <laughs> <laughs> um i don't like this deck i feel like our twos are great our high end is great. And then like the super early game, the one drops are garbage. Uh, well, not garbage. They're just like, okay. I like the neonate at one. Yeah, but like our mid game at three is just so That's the bad. Thing. Three, <laughs> three is the turn for me that. I will say in this set, four is like a pretty important turn from what it seems for like. For our four drops, I think we're doing pretty well. Pretty well, yeah. I'd like. Excuse me. I would have liked to see another Fell Spectre just because I think that card's busted. Yeah. Um, but Starcrown Stag is great. I think Zombie is fine. It's an aggressive card that mm -hmm. begs an answer, so that's always good. Um, the Archer's pretty solid. Yeah, uh, the Archer's fine. It pings the guy. So, yeah. Or yeah, them, yeah. whatever. Um, I don't... To me, our bombs are also pretty lacking. A bit. Vampire Sovereign doesn't do enough for me. Um, uh, it does for me only because it's a flyer. But there are bigger flyers is my whole There are, reason. for sure. Like, that um, dies to that Drake that costs five. Well, okay, no so four. let's go through... So, our bombs, like you yeah. said, they're not amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have Vampire Sovereign, which I'm okay with. It's not great. Bog Stomper right. is just, like, very classic, you know, vanilla it's bomb. It's a big thing. Yeah. Uh, Meteor Golem, I consider a bomb only because it comes in and blows something up immediately, and it's anything, basically. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. So I I like Meteor I Golem. Like that. It's not, it, it's not a damage dealer though. No, me and Meteor Golem does reduce boards parity because mm -hmm. it blows up the big scary thing keeping you at parity, which yep. is cool. Um, if you're winning, it just clears the way. If you're losing, it knocks out the thing. Like it's got all the trappings. It's just a three three on a seven. Mm -hmm. So if it if you are losing, this might get you out of a jam. Might not. It's all conjecture, though. I think it's a fine card. I just yeah. wish we had something more powerful to follow it up. I'm with that. You know I get that. Saying? I will say our removal package seems pretty good. It's not amazing, but we do have Lich's Caress. We have Take Vengeance. I mean, we have uh, four Lava Axe we did not utilize. <laughs> so if you don't think our removal is good enough, <laughs> might I just suggest Splashing Red? Well, mm, <laughs> um, I consider the kidding. Abnormal Endurance to be like 
as you said, sort of used as a removal spell in this deck. Right. Uh, That's me so, in, in Magic Christmas Land, kind of shopping from everywhere. Yeah, but like I feel like we have like two and a half removal spells. Does that make sense? Yeah, um, I understand. Which I mean, Lich's Caress is great removal. Uh, Take Vengeance is just like pretty good. Yeah. Um, Abnormal Endurance is just a I think a slightly above par combat trick. I'm with that. Um, so I I think this deck will sneak out wins. Um, I don't know. I don't feel good about it. I feel three. I feel <laughs> me too. Me too. If we want to feel five, we can just get a bunch of lava axes. Oh, <laughs> baby, if they want to feel five to the face. You know what that is right there, packing four lava axes? <laughs> that is that built is in lethal. win condition. That's lethal right there. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Kevin, can we just build a deck that stalls until we get to all the lava axes? <laughs> what was the, the Amon Ket deck, the mono red deck? Mm. That we built with fling, we just Boy. flung. Ev- we how many did we play? Like four. I thought it was like three or four for sure. Yeah, it was like we just flung everything at the opponent, mm-hmm. and it worked like really well. We won a lot. I don't understand how we won. It's fling, dude. Draft no, I know, fling. But like add value to your bomb twice. Yeah. I mean, for sure, but it's just kind of funny. Uh, yeah, it's hilarious. I love winning with fling. Yeah, I do too. It was a good time, man. Man. I miss those days playing magic. Um, Kids, <laughs> draft fling. Draft fling. If you can. And apparently Rust Wing Falcon. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I love 1-1 one, one flyers. It's a 1-2 one, flyer, one, two flyer, so I love it even more. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, a sol- I'm not as sold on it, I will say. I but. just thought it was one of the better one drops in the set that was at That's Common. Fair. And then Neonate is probably better, but it's not flying. It's so. just not flying. But you outpower so the, the Falcon pretty quick. But it doesn't block the Falcon, so it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It nullifies the Falcon, so it's good. Yeah. Um. Exactly. Anyway, yeah. I don't. I mm. don't think the deck is that solid, but it's like medium <laughs> at best. All right. Uh, takeaways from drafting Core 2019. Mm-hmm. This is the first time we practice draft together. Yeah. Uh, do you want more bomb, please? Do you want more bomb, please? That's my only advice. Yeah, that's about it. You want more bombs. How have you felt just about drafting this set, though, in general? It's funky. It feels funky. So I've never liked liked a deck I've drafted. Um, Not once, not never, not now. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I feel like every archetype just never really gets there. I... I'm cool. (laughs) I will... I resemble that statement. The closest I've ever gotten is a black-white deck where I had a lot of, like, gain life synergy with some of the, like, payoff cards, like the Priest, and there was a couple other ones that were important. But, like, cool. in this deck, there's no payoff for the life gain. It's just life gain. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm but, you. like, I don't know. That's, like, the closest I've gotten. I, the, I've the i tried to draft the blue-white artifact deck. Like, I've forced it a couple times just to see. Mm-hmm. It just like never gets there for me, dude. Whenever you draft, it's a dance. You gotta no, let, no, I know. You gotta let the packs lead. I get that. I, the only reason I say I forced it is because I was like, I want to see how good this can be, and so I did like no. five drafts where I just went through and forced it, and it just didn't you, work. You gotta let your packs tell you how good it can be. I know, I know. Let the packs lead, Kevin. Well, the packs have not led me there, <laughs> so they're gonna cusp. Nope. <laughs> Clutch <laughs> the lower back. Yeah, they're gonna hold you in a tight, packy embrace, and they're gonna waltz around the dance floor. They're gonna macabre waltz around the dance floor. Yeah, what is just happening? Dude. Okay. Anyway, yeah. And if your deck sucks, it'll be a panic at the disco. All right, let's move <laughs> on to if before we move on right. if you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to share about drafting do so in the comments section Kevin below. that was going to be uh, my question of the week you little fruitcake Did it, was it really yeah oh, go ahead best guys this question of the week what is the best piece of advice you've ever gotten about limited I'm typing this so I don't forget this as we do it eh. <laughs> can't believe you just saying things without letting me know sorry buddy <laughs> Uh, yeah, this was a weird episode. I just want to throw out. It was fun. <laughs> it's um, been a weird day. Has been a weird day. It's been I a know. weird couple weeks. Yeah. It's it's it feels weird to record again. 
we get back in the swing of things. Turn Guys, card again. Are we back on? Are we on packs now? Yeah, we're on packs now. Shoot. Yeah, All right, that's quick. Cool. Let's do it. Uh, gold cards. What's yours? Uh, Leon and War Leader. Get Minus. on that mono white train. <laughs> Mine is Supreme Phantom. Is it fair to say that anytime you're drafting, uh, as long as you're in white, you always draft the War Leader? Yes. No matter what deck you're in? Yes. Oh, or wait, you we just have to do the. Sorry. It's too late. Just show it. Uh, it's not good. It's, nope. Metamorphic Alteration. <laughs> I got Chaos Wand. Mm hmm. Woo. I don't All know right. if that's actually that amazing. Well, I'm in red. Lightning Mare. <laughs> okay. uh, what do I have? Yeah, no, that's it. I don't have a lot of grades. I do have a Meteor Golem, which I do think is always good. Yep. Um, I that. Yeah, I think that's better than the Alteration. I do think the Alteration has instances of being great, uh, but I would pick the Meteor Golem. It keeps me open. Yeah. I can be literally in anything. I like it. What did you say? You're the lightning mayor? Dude, yeah. that card's amazing. Nothing else is... All the mares are, like, great. Uh, yeah, I think Vine Mare is clearly the best. Yeah, 100%. But, yeah. I don't know. Vile Mare is solid. Vile Mare is sweet. Didn't we argue about that one once? We did. It was bad of me. Don't bring that it over up. That over Banefire? No. You pick Banefire. <laughs> uh, so, that's the episode. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, do you have anything else you want to talk about before we go? We always just kind of ramble at the end. Yes. Do you really? What you got? Kids, if you sit down to record a podcast, <laughs> pee first. Do you have to pee really bad? <laughs> Is this the first time that's happened? Yes. Really, 107 episodes is how long it took? And it feels terrible. Let me guys tell let me tell you guys my life story. All right. <laughs> I'll get up right now. <laughs> <laughs> guys, uh, we're gonna get out of here, I guess, so Will can go pee. I hope you enjoyed this like kind of random episode. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of fun. If you did enjoy it, uh, we can do this for new sets every once in a while. Definitely. Um, mock draft always before you go real draft. You don't yes. spend any money on it. You get a look at the set. You kind of get a feel of what is good, what disappears. Mock draft always if you yeah. can. Um, no a matter where you get started. Yeah. Um, just always do it. Draft.bestier.com or .org, yeah. excuse me, is a great place to go. Yeah. You uh, can also do it on MTGO. There's a bunch of different places yeah, you yeah. can find it. There's tons of them. Uh, yep. I practice draft at work a lot uh, because I got nothing better to do. By the way, Craig, <laughs> I know for a fact he doesn't know about this channel. <laughs> Dang. Uh, anyway, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to get out of here. My name is yeah. Kevin. My name's Will. This has been It Resolves.